Hi guys, in the last video we looked at how to reset the ball um, when it gets destroyed when it hits the bottom and we also set up our blocks as prefabs and created our first wall that we can uh, break down in the middle, a wall of blocks in the middle. So what we're going to do today is we are going to look at the heads up display and uh, the, or the user interface if you want to call it that um, and basically we'll have the lives, the score and the high score across the top of the screen. So let's dive straight into it. I'm going to right click, go down to UI and I'm going to add uh, text. Now this automatically gives me a canvas and an event system. Um, we only want one event system in a, in a scene and that handles all the, the clicks and events that, that go on with the UI. And the canvas is basically uh, well, it's the canvas you get to work with. You get to paint your uh, user interface onto the canvas. You can have as many canvases as you like, and you can have them set up however you want them. Uh, we're going to just use the one canvas, and we're going to have it over our game view. So by default, the canvas, if we double click on it, it's absolutely massive, and it's up there from zero to whatever. And if we look at this tiny little bit here, this is our, our game screen. So we'll go down back to the main camera, zoom in. And we can see the text we've added there, a giant bit of text that is bigger than the, the whole screen. So we need to sort these things out. So we'll go to the canvas. We want to change a couple of things. In the canvas here, it's a render mode. It says screen space overlay. What we want to do is we want to do it in world space. Then it wants a camera so we can drag in our main camera and that's going to run the events where we click into the camera. Now the position, let's go to zero, zero, zero. Let's double click canvas just to zoom out and see where we are. So yeah, we, we, we're centered on the game screen now. The width and the height um, we need to change. So let's just do this by trial and error. So we'll go to 100. That's massive. And we'll go to 18. That's too small. Uh, we'll go to 18 this way as well. And let's have a look where we are. Uh, interesting to note that our text uh, is still there and is still massive, so that hasn't changed. We'll, we'll just drag it there for now. Go and have a look at our canvas. Okay, so it's, it's basically working in world units. Um, so let's change that 18 to 32, and we bang on 32, 18, and it's just using um, our units uh, for the width and the height. So that's nice and easy to calculate from our 16-9 our ratio. Okay, so now we need to look at the text and we see it's absolutely massive. When we go back onto the canvas we can see the, this canvas scaler here UI scale mode is world. We've got the amount of pixels per unit to use for dynamically created bitmaps in the UI such as text. Let's set this up to 100. And then we see that our text is shrunk down. So we can shrink it down a bit more. And then with the move tool we can put it into our world view zoom down into the canvas new text that's font size of 14 but it's still it's still way too big so let's go back into the canvas and let's try 200 still too big let's try 300 it's getting there let's try 400 i'm happy with 400 so we'll go back into the text And there we go. 
Okay, so we've got everything sort of sized how we want it now. Um, so that new text, we'll give it a name. Um, we'll call it uh, Lives Label Text. We'll leave it the same text, Lives Label Text. Now let's, let's get rid of text. Label says enough. And that's just going to read lives, colon. Don't like the color of it, so um, let's go and change the color down here. And we want it to be white. We'll set the anchor to the top left-hand corner. It doesn't really matter for what we're we're doing. So we'll 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 work with anchors uh, in, in in future videos and other topics. Um, but basically, it's anchored to the top left hand corner. We can so we can move it around. It's interesting because it's actually um, if we unclick that, then we can move it a bit more freely. I mean, we've we've got that in place. Why not use it? Yeah, I'm quite happy having it there. Get my rect tool. Quite happy with that. So that's our lives label. Let's duplicate it. So I have to set this up every time. So lives label and lives text or lives value, let's say lives value. Move that there. Let's take both of them and duplicate. We'll call this score label. Not done a space on the other one, so I don't see why I should do a space on that one. And we got score value. Put that in the middle. Score label text needs to change to score duplicate one more time high score label high score value let's get rid of the brackets one at the end Didn't select both of them. Let's try again. That was Control Z just to go back there. The high score might, you know, it could be fantastically long. So we need some space. That's good for me. High score label. Just put high there. Mm. Need to move things around a bit. Just position these how you want them. I'm quite happy with that. We got live score, high score. Let's hit play. We can move around. We can launch balls. We can reset the balls. Disappear based on their health. So it takes two hits for a blue, one hit for a yellow. Um, the score isn't working, we're not getting any scores. 
Uh, we're not losing any lives and we haven't got the high score. So in the next video, we'll look at how to uh, wire up the lives and score and we'll build a game session. We'll also look at the singleton pattern. So quite a lot to look for in the next video. This one's short and sweet. I'll see you in the next video.